and welcome. I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself via video as well. I will have uh, throughout this course uh, video and audio lecture, mini lecture type things for you to uh, watch or listen to. Uh, and hopefully they're going to be fairly short and just sort of guides. So if there's a difficult thing in the readings or uh, something that I need to clarify or an example or something I'd like to give, I'll do that uh, on these um, introductions and they'll be posted on the, uh, the content tab. Uh, on D2, D2L. Hopefully by now you ha you've had a chance to look around D2L and get familiar with the site and, and the expectations for the course. Uh, I wanted to spend a few minutes outlining, outlining in some uh, in verbal detail about the requirements and expectations for this class. Uh, I know it's printed for you in the in the PDF syllabus syllabus that I gave you. Sorry, I can't talk tonight. Um, but sometimes it helps to hear that out in words as well. This is going to be a very text-based class, meaning you're going to be writing and reading and posting, and and interacting with one another on a textual level. So anytime I can break that up with a you know you can, where you can see my face or whatever. I find to be a little bit more enlivening and embodying, especially for an online class. Uh, now this is an online class and if you're unfamiliar with an online format, hopefully you can pick up um, and, and, and run along with us as quickly as possible. I understand that it takes a little bit of time to orient yourself into the course. If you're having trouble, if you're uh, difficulty sort of engaging or thinking in the in this kind of way, please let me know. Let me help you. Let me walk you through. Send me an email. We can set up. Uh, and again, and this is for all of my office hours. If you'd like to like actually discuss something with me, we can set up a, a Google Chat or a FaceTime or something like that, and actually have some live interaction with a real person. Uh, I'd also appreciate if. Uh, or it would be nice if when you posted responses you can post audio as well as text. Uh, that is another way to help embody the class itself. Uh, if I can hear your voice, if a fellow students can hear your voice, we respond to one another differently than we do if everything is just typed out. Now that's not a, a expectation written into the course. So if you don't feel comfortable recording your voice and posting it online for other people to listen to, that's fine, um, but it's just nice. So take that as you will. Uh, so I'm going to go through a couple of the expectations and then leave you for the week. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to access another lecture at the end of this week, Sunday. I'll try to have these uh, lecturettes up on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday at the beginning of each week. Um, I will also be interacting with you on the discussion board as well. I'll be um, asking for the questions, asking for more information, asking for clarification, just to sort of help be another voice driving the discussions along. I want this to be an interactive thing. I've set up and I'm guiding the course, but I'd like each of you to take the course where we want to go. So if you know, there's something comes up in the reading or you know some other reading, you know, we can always adjust the schedule, the syllabus uh, to meet the needs of this specific group in this class. So it's an, it's an open syllabus in that. Uh, but we don't have to go any other direction than, than the stuff that I have in the syllabus. If you're con content with that, I'm content with that, we can, we can just kind of cruise and, and uh, eight weeks later we'll be done. So a couple things I'd like to highlight on the syllabus itself. Um, there are some expectations you'll see on assignments and evaluations. Uh, there's online journal res journals and responses. So after this week, uh, so weeks two through seven, uh, I'd like you to each post twice per week, a minimum. You can post more if you want, uh, but two is the baseline for, for the grade for the class. Your first one will be due on uh, Tuesday night, and the syllabus says midnight, and by that I mean Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. That's uh, a post that is based on your thinking of the reading that you did for that week. 
So whatever it says on the syllabus, those are the readings for that week. Your first post should engage that in some substantive way, 250 to 300 words uh, as the minimum baseline. Uh, by Thursday at midnight, and by that I mean Thursday at 11.59pm, uh, so just before Friday morning, uh, you should have responded to at least one other person with at least a 100 word response. So those are the two expectations that I'm going to be looking for uh, each week as we, as we progress through the course. The uh, self-introduction that's due for this week is due on Thursday night. Now, if you're in charge of leading a discussion for uh, one particular week, and, and hopefully each of you will have a chance to email me and sign up for a day to lead class discussion, um, come up, go through the readings, come up with a couple of good questions that come out of those readings, come up for you as you've read them, right, and post them to the discussion board for that week and do so by Monday at midnight, so Monday at 11.59 p.m. That, that gives us each 24 hours to read, to digest on Tuesday, and to respond to those questions. And by all means, if you've read earlier, um, this, you're, you're more than welcome to post your questions earlier as well, and that gives each of us a little bit more time as well. But Monday is a sort of drop-dead date, so if you haven't submitted your question for the class to engage by Monday at midnight, um, you don't get a credit for the assignment because we need time to actually think about this stuff. So make sure you get your questions in. There will be a social, social location paper, and I'm going to have you write this. There's more detail in the syllabus. You can look at that, and I also posted an, an, a link to an essay that helps describe sort of what a social location essay should contain, what sorts of questions are being asked. And again, if you have questions with this or about this, please feel free to email me, contact me in some way, and we can we can work through that. Uh, but these are due next Friday. Uh, again, when I say midnight, I mean of that day, so Friday at 11.59 p.m. Uh, of next week. The social location essays are due, and those are pretty short. And I'll get in next week about why that is sort of why is that why is that important. Why is that an assignment for this class specifically? Uh, by week four, a midterm project proposal is due, or midterm sort of final, it's actually called a, a sorry. It's the proposal for the final project is due. So what I'd hope is that by halfway through our course, which is only four weeks away, you will have read uh, enough to have a general idea of what you want to engage for a final project. And again, as we get closer to week four, I'll give you more information on that. Uh, the final essay or project is due again at, the, at week eight, at the end of week eight. And the only other thing that may seem a little odd on the assignments uh, list is participation decorum. Now, in general, your participation grade just, just participating, right, is showing up on whatever days you log on to post your responses. Uh, that's, that's participation, but this is a decorum grade. This is sort of how are we conducting our conversation as a class. And I gave some examples in the syllabus about what I'm looking for. So if you're creating a hostile environment, if you're attacking somebody, if you're not sort of being sensitive to the fact that there's someone else on the other side of that, you know, students post. Um, that's going to factor in and, and, and create an atmosphere in the class that won't be as conducive for learning uh, a, a, across all of us. So I'm looking for sort of how are our classes engaging, how are we engaging one another uh, individually and as a class in our online discussions. Now that being said, if you're lackadaisical, if, um, if you're not taking things seriously, if it's evident to me that your posts sort of um, are too much fluff or not even not engaging critically, that's part of the decorum as well. I do want this to be a critical engagement of the of the readings that we have and the discussions that we have. Right? But let's not use these this online format to attack one another. Um, I think beyond that, uh, feel free to email me throughout the week. I think I said in another post on the discussions for this week. 
Uh, I'm a human being as well, as you may have guessed, um, which means I have a, a family life and all these other things. Um, so if I don't email you back immediately, I will do so in a timely manner. And so if you know, you've got a 10, a 10 p.m. email out to me and it's desperately wanting some technical advice for how to do this or that, right? I may not get to it until the morning because I generally turn my email and stuff off uh, in the evening time. Uh, when there are deadlines such as the papers and things that are due, uh, I'm, I'll try to be a little bit more flexible and, and get back to you sooner, but just know that um, in the age of immediate response, I may not be as immediate as you may hope sometimes, but I'll, but I'll do my best. Uh, beyond that, uh, have a great week. I hope you enjoy the Gorski essay on enculturation, and I look forward to uh, getting to know each of you a little bit in the uh, self-identification um, little posts that you do for Thursday. Thank you.